I'm Maxim Jakubowski. I've lived a life of crime for many years, having worked in book publishing where I was involved in editing many writers in the field and was responsible for a variety of crime imprints over my career. I've also compounded my villainy by editing over 30 anthologies in the genre, as well as writing a couple of handfuls of novels published in over 22 countries. In addition, I created the UK's first specialist mystery bookstore, Murder One, which I ran for many years. This year, I've had the honour of chairing the judges on the 2015 John Creasy New Blood Dagger. The CWA loves to showcase and promote new talent. And with this award, we get to select the best crime novel of the year by a first-time author. We had a really competitive amount of submissions this year. Strong evidence that the crime and mystery genre is in rude health. And it was tough to reach a shortlist, but very enjoyable at the same time. In Paul Hardesty's The Abrupt Physics of Dying, Claymore Straker is trying to forget a violent past when he's hijacked at gunpoint by Islamic terrorists in the Yemen, whilst working as an oil company engineer. He's compelled to investigate why the local water is poisoned and to help uncover the causes of a mysterious sickness afflicting the village of al Urush, close to the company's oil processing facility. Topical, daring and socially conscious, set in a troubled war-torn region where the truth is always concealed, behind the walls of ideology, politics and self-interest. The judges felt that this eco-thriller never sets a foot wrong all the way to its explosive conclusion. The author himself has the perfect background to write such an assured debut, having spent 25 years working all over the world as an engineer, hydrologist and environmental scientist. Celeste Ng's Everything I Never Told You is set in 1970s small town Ohio and is the tender examination of the life of a Chinese-American family following the discovery of their favorite daughter's body in a nearby lake. When Lydia's body is found, James, her father, is consumed by guilt and sets out on a reckless path that may destroy his marriage. Marilyn, her mother, devastated and vengeful, is determined to make someone accountable no matter what the cost. Lydia's older brother, Nathan, is convinced that local bad boy Jack is somehow involved. But it's the youngest in the family, Hannah, who observes far more than anyone realises and who may be the only one who knows what really happened. Everything I Never Told You is a tale of secrets, family and longing in an environment of culture clash and psychological devastation with a talent to bring tears to your eyes. 4th of July Creek by Smith Henderson is a powerful evocation of the rural America time has forgotten and the casualties it trails in its wake. The novel is set in western Montana and follows the travails of a social worker called in when a young undernourished boy Benjamin Pearl is found wandering in the Montana wilderness. Pete Snow has to confront his disenfranchised parents and comes face to face with the boy's profoundly disturbed father Jeremiah. Both harrowing and life-enhancing, this unflinching debut is a towering achievement and provides insight into a world many of us would rather ignore. Kate Hamer's The Girl in the Red Coat is an extraordinary and hugely moving tale of child abduction which moves in totally unpredictable directions and remains a page-turner all the way through. Eight-year-old Carmel has always been different sensitive, distracted, with a heart-stopping tendency to go missing. When her mother Beth takes Carmel for an outing to a local festival, her worst fear is realised. Carmel disappears into the crowd. Unable to accept the possibility that her daughter might be gone for good, Beth embarks on a mission to find her. The girl in the red coat's fairy tale atmosphere never obscures the human tragedy and complex web of relationships at the centre of the plot and delivers a disturbing insight into mother-daughter interface and chills the soul way down to the bone. American journalist Caroline Kepnes's You is a powerful tale of suspense for the internet age in which an aspiring writer is stalked through her digital footprints on Twitter, Facebook and elsewhere. 
When aspiring writer Guinevere Beck strides into the bookstore where Joe works, he's instantly smitten. Beck is everything Joe has ever wanted. Tough, razor smart and sexier than his wildest dreams. He'd kill to have her. Soon, Beck can't resist her feelings for a guy who seems custom made for her. When a string of macabre incidents tears her world apart, there is only one person she can turn to. But there's more to Joe than Beck realises, and much more to Beck than her perfect facade. The obsessive relationship quickly spirals into a whirlwind of deadly consequences. The judges felt that this story of obsessive love with a chilling edge was a perfectly crafted thriller that always stays one step ahead of the reader. <laughs>